Hi and welcome back to the channel. On this video I want to do a little demonstration on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. If you're not familiar with this bike it is a dual motor 52 volt 1000 watt uh, geared hub motor in the front and rear and I'm going to give you a little demonstration of It, it, what it's like with one motor and then accelerating with two we got no hills right where i'm at here at the moment but maybe i could get over to where there's a hill but, and do a little demo but uh, right now i'm going to just show you um, i'm going to get over to a street where i can have a little more straight straight away at least no stop sign and be able to do it a little bit we're going to be going uphill, but that's fine. A slight uphill, not a, not a steep one or anything. Too steep. But it, anyway, here we go. Here we go with the single motor on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And then watch what happens when we turn on the front motor for dual. You can hear that motor racing. Now when you're riding the uh, Grizzly, and I, I'm sure it's the same with all dual motor bikes, you want to make sure when you're first taking off that you only have one motor on and that's the rear one because you're sitting on the rear of the bike and there's more weight at the back, it's not going to spin on you. And uh, have you possibly lose control of your bike? So, and I've done this several times where I've forgotten to turn off the front motor and so I went to take off and I'm going to show you right now what it's like when that happens. Okay, so we're at a stop right now and here I got both motors on. Now watch what happens when I hit the accelerator. You see, you can hear it. The front motor or the front wheel just wants to spin, right? That's how much, how much torque this bike has in juice and there's not enough weight in the front to hold it down. It wants to go. This bike so badly wants to race. And so you got to make sure I put it back to the single motor. And then once you get going, after five seconds or so, get a little bit going, then you can turn on and then you're not going to spin out. But uh, yeah, you don't want to uh, take off with the front motor. Uh, on as well because that could cause you an accident and you don't want that so once again here we go this is what it's like if you are at a stop with the grizzly aerial rider grizzly and you have both motors on Okay, so you want to be careful when you're at a stop, unless you want to do that and you know that you're, uh, you have both on and be ready for it. Otherwise, it's going to uh, throw you for a bit of a loop there. So be careful on your aerial rider grizzly. But this bike is so much fun you just when you get on it you just don't want to get off you know but i feel the same way with all the electric bikes i just don't want to get off when you get on see that time i just had the front motor going i'm going down in battery power I'm, i didn't have a full uh charge when i got on i'm at 56 percent at the moment but ripping around and doing what i'm doing now is going to use more battery than just uh, a steady ride here so i'm just accelerating and slowing down and kind of goofing off here a little bit and so uh it's using a little more battery power so if you've not ridden a 
aerial rider grizzly but you purchased one and, and you're getting one and you haven't ridden it yet just be forewarned and i'm sure you've probably seen videos on the bike before just be forewarned though that this bike has some serious takeoff especially with uh, both motors engaged so uh, you might want to just make sure that you have just the rear motor on when you're uh, at a stop like this we're going to give you one more example here <laughs> and let's do it one more time here i don't want to i don't want to get too crazy here but here we go <laughs> If you want a, if you want a quick uh, adrenaline rush, there you go. That's kind of cool, though. The feeling, it's like, it's like when you're on an airplane and you're, uh, the takeoff is really cool. Yeah, you know, it just roars down that runway. It's kind of like this bike on the acceleration. I, do, I really like that acceleration though it really comes in handy I don't like to do this spin out like that though I usually just have the rear motor on to start but to quickly get you out of a situation like an like a wide intersection I like to get out of there like I you know be able to hang with traffic and get out of there or even if there's no traffic and the other thing that this does with the dual motor it'll absolutely take you up a hill the difference try going up a hill with this bike with just one motor on and then kick in your front motor and boy it'll just if, if you're not going up uh very well with with just the one motor put on that front motor and it'll literally grab you and throw you up that hill that's what it feels like anyway Well, that's going to do it for this video we're doing uh, we were doing a little demonstration of the all-wheel drive of the aerial rider grizzly and to be careful using your front wheel drive when you're at a stop because it will literally spin you right out and might you might wipe out so you want to be careful with that so that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video is up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment in the comments below you can do that as well on this or any other video and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time Keep your wheels on the road. See you later.